Hi, my name is Justin Schelp and I'm the founder and run our engineering team here at Patch My PC. In this video, we're going to review an issue that can periodically come up in the event that you had third-party updates published from a vendor that no longer exists in WSUS. So a uh, quick overview of how you can know if this is your issue. If you go to your installation directory for your site server and go to logs, if you look at the WCM log, this is going to be the WSUS configuration manager component. Um, what you're going to see in that log is something like this. It's going to say that it failed to set subscriptions within WSUS, and then it will give you this error code ending in 259. Additionally, what we'll see is that it says there's a category, and then we'll give you a company ID and name that is not found in WSUS. So essentially what happens is, let's say that you're using a third-party catalog uh, for any vendor out there. It could be HP, Dell, Lenovo, Adobe, it could be another third party uh, catalog provider like ourselves, where you had updates published at one point within WSUS. And what can happen is during a WSUS cleanup, if there's no more updates published from that vendor, uh, the cleanup task will essentially remove that vendor from WSUS. So, for example, if you go to your software update point, if you're on 1906 of Config Manager or newer, if you enabled something like the WSUS cleanup task, so if we go look at our WSUS maintenance, if you enabled any of these options to clean up WSUS, or maybe you're using a third-party script uh, that's maintaining WSUS and running cleanup operations, what can happen is when there's no more updates currently in uh, WSUS for that uh, vendor, like HP, Dell, Lenovo, et cetera, it will remove that vendor from WSUS. Now, what will happen is when SCCM goes to configure the software update point or WSUS server every hour, if a vendor no longer exists in WSUS, it will actually break this component where it will no longer perform any software update point syncs. So it, it can kind of be a big problem in the scenario that you had a cleanup occur. So the workaround to this is you need to go kind of identify what vendors are reporting in that log. And what you essentially have to do is uncheck those from SCCM so that they're no longer trying to sync. So the vendor in our case was Adobe Systems we can also see that there's no product for these vendors either. So typically, like for Patch My PC, you're gonna have a sub product under the vendor. Uh, and we can see that in Adobe and Notepad's case, it was automatically removed, but SCCM will not auto remove the vendor. So in order to actually fix this, you need to uncheck the vendors that are reporting in that WCM.log. In our case, it was Adobe and Notepad, and then click apply. What's then going to happen is the WCM component's gonna kick in and it's gonna to try to reconfigure uh, your software update point to WSUS because it detected this product change. So here in a second, we can see that it just kicked in. And we can now see that the configuration was successful, meaning that it did configure that uh, software update point. So now if we come in and just to kind of confirm, we can kick off a software update point sync and within the next minute, we should see the WSync manager log kick in and then we can see that it's uh, going to start syncing. So I'll pause it for a second just to verify that everything is working. All right, so we can see uh, the sync did in fact kick in. If we go back to WCM.log, we can see that it was able to configure the software update point. Um, so that is the workaround. Uh, now, if we come over here and click OK, now that we performed a software update point sync, if we come back in and look at the products, what we should notice is it did clean up those vendors and they no longer exist. So if we come back into products, we can now see that the vendors that were previously kind of uh, left checked there that didn't actually exist, we can see now that it's uh, unchecked and it ran a sync, they're completely gone. So we no longer have Adobe or Notepad++ as a vendor within the software update point products. Now, um, there are a few uh, scenarios that can happen in some cases where we have seen a, a small number of customers would get the error in the WCM.log saying that there's a product that was selected, but it would not actually exist in the products tab of the software update point. Um, so if you run across that scenario, the best bet would be to open up a support case with us using the technical support forum. Uh, what can happen in that scenario is there can be a product that's actually enabled in WMI on the software update point or SMS provider actually, and it doesn't display in the UI for some reason. So what we have to do in that case is go into WMI, turn off the product there and save it, and then it will be able to configure it. Um, that's a little bit too deep to go into on a video, 
Uh, but if you do have that issue, just open a support case with us and we can help you out there. Another thing that we've asked is we've reached out to the product group for Config Manager just to see if they can make this a little bit more graceful, where if a product no longer exists in WSUS, just to simply uh, log that out in the WCM.log, but don't actually break the configuration. We think that's probably a little better because sometimes it can take a little while before you actually notice this error uh, and actually get there to troubleshoot it. Uh, and then all that time, you may not get software update point syncing until you uncheck that vendor within your software update point. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.